Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing a mod review for American Truck Simulator on the Peterbilt 359. Now this is a mod that is exclusively given to me for Junior Senior Gaming um, that we are having a look at, we're the only people having a look at this at the moment. Now this is coming up very soon. So it's not out yet, but coming very soon. So um, as soon as the link is made public, I will put it in the description below. But for now, we'll just have to stick with this. So let's jump in and check it out. Now, um, here is the first one. Uh, the, the, that's the actual day cab there uh, for the cabin. And there is a small sleeper. And then we have a bigger sleeper. So that's with the chassis. So you can see there. I think that looks quite nice. I like that. Uh, now we go over to the actual the sorry that's the cabins there then we go over to the chassis now different chassis you can choose uh, we have the 4x2 the 6x4 and the 6x2 now this is just now this will probably get upgraded in the in the future now I'm gonna stick to the day cab with the long chassis get that really old, old sort of old-school cool look going now uh, the we have a ton of engines here. Now, uh, these engines are all done by Creech Bum. Now, I have been uh, assured that uh, Creech Bum will be given credits for these mods, for the actual sound effects and engines and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll wait and see and see if that actually happens. So, uh, for now, we'll just say yes, Creech Bum has actually done all these. So we have a wide variety of engines from the Cummins 444 series. The, uh, let's see, goes up to 600 horsepower. Then we've got the Cat 475 C15, and that goes up to uh, the King of the Hill 625 horsepower. The Cummins N14 435. The Cat. 3406E 475, that's 475 horsepower. Cummins N14 uh, 525. And look, that's there's a 550, and there's a 605, the Cummins N14 chipped. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the top and we'll try each of these sounds when we go out. So, let's go over to the transmission. Transmission, we have the Eaton Fuller RTLO 20913A. The Eaton Fuller RTLO 20913AR and the Eaton Fuller RTLO 22918B um, dash AS. So we'll put on the 18 speed there. And then we'll uh, go over to the interior. Now, um, one thing that I have noticed straight away the 359 has a different dash. The proper dash for this has a rounded section in the, in the top there, uh, just in front. Uh, this doesn't have the, that dash, so if this dash looks familiar, that's probably why it's borrowed for the time being. I'm hoping that this gets changed uh, and that they do actually put the proper dash in this truck. So I'm hoping, but I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it yet. So for now, we get standard and exclusive. So it just changes the wood grain. That's pretty much all it does. We have a look around when we flick it over. See, nothing changes. Uh, now over to the paint jobs. Now we have a nice little selection here. We have a clear white, olive green, velocity red, amber yellow, um, mystery blue, we have black star, graphite grey and custom colour. Uh, which will allow you to choose any custom colour that you would like. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose an orange there for today. It is nice and very bright isn't it? Now, off to the accessories. Not a great deal to choose from at this point in time, but I'm hoping within future there will be a larger selection. So if we have a look, there's the standard wheels there. And there is the standard rims. So let's go and chuck on some chrome rims. We'll put on some chrome nuts. And no, we'll leave the hub like that. And I'm not going to put a cover on, I'll just leave that. But it's all stock standard ones that you get. Um, over to the rear, the same thing again. There is just these stock tires that you do get. 
yeah anyway so we're going to go and check these out so what do we got there's the wide now where's another wide keep forgetting where the wides are there's chrome wide paint seagull wide paint seagull wide chrome there we go and we'll go and chuck on chrome nuts and I'll leave that the way it is there. So seagull wide again. There we go. And chrome nuts. And that'll do for now. Let's fix this up to be seagull rims. So it looks better. There we go. Looks, yeah, there we go. Right, so uh, then we have the mirrors, which we can actually change them a little bit. See, there's, that's meant to be plastic. I'm not sure what's happened there. Uh, it's just sort of gone a tainted bit of chrome. Plastic modern, paint, it's not painted. Uh, there is paint modern. Uh, then there's chrome, and then there's chrome modern. So I think there might be a little bit issue with the mirrors at this time, but I'm hoping that all gets fixed up before it's release. Now, uh, the trim for the actual sun visor. We've got the Titan, the Samurai, stock. It is basically the bow tie over and over again, isn't it? There we go. Uh, oh, there we go. There is the Ranger, drop shield there, and there's the Dragonfly. Well, it says Dragonfly. Uh, that Those names will need to be updated, I think. But that's interesting there. It's a clear like window. It's glass. That's interesting, isn't it? Very different. I'm going to go with the ranger for this one now uh looking around that is pretty much all there is to choose at this point in time but i'm sure within the uh in the future there will be more updates for this so uh let's head on over to the internal accessories and let's see what else uh no that's mirrors that is sun visor and there is the main mirrors again so, uh, look, it's still in working progress, but for now, it's looking quite good. Now, let's go confirm this, and we will do a trade-in on the last truck. Thank you very much. And let's go and see how long it takes to load. Let's see. Loading, loading, loading. All right, here we go. Did not take very long at all to load. Now, just having a look and it's very bright isn't it that chrome just stands out it's so uh, if you you've got a slower machine it may not like this truck very much because of the chrome and this is definitely a show truck definitely so something that i probably would like to see on this is some custom stacks that would be good that would be really good to see. All right, so, and its own interior. I think its own interior would be good as well. So let's start this up and see what it sounds like. There we go. All right, so let's check. We got lights, there's the lights there. High beams. Okay, horn. No, uh, standard horn. There we go. Standard horn. Uh, now, wipers. No wiper animation for the outside yet. Okay, indicators. There's that side and there's that side. Yep. Okay, so let's go in and we'll check out. There's high beam there. Oh, there's high beam there. Wipers. Yes, we have a wiper animation on the inside one speed that's it there we go um that's it for now so great start i mean this is looking pretty good so far let's back this up and go over and check out those other sounds nice and long it's like very very interesting to turn this backing it up straight up I mean I can feel it straight away it's actually not bad to drive just like this 
It is going to be a pain with the long chassis, but I never do things easy anyway. Ah, oh, this is actually, this is nice. I can feel it now, it's nice. Right, alright, so it's always good when straight away you can tell if a mod is going to drive well or if it's not going to drive well. Let's have a look. We'll go back into the uh, upgrade shop and let's check out these engines. So that was the Cummins. Let's try the Cat. And we'll jump out of there. Now, uh, just going to hop over to the outside. Turn off that, don't need it. Oh yeah, so there is, a, yeah, there's a different sound there. Yeah, great. Okay, let's have a look at um, the next one, which is the N14. And spin it round. There we go. Uh, oops, I hit the wrong button. Dear. There we go. And let's go back to the upgrade shop again. Uh, the 3406E. There we go. So now I'm pretty sure that was all the sounds. Uh, I'll just double check. Uh, just to make sure that's the N14. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a sore throat at the moment, so it's a bit hard for me to continually keep talking without it getting dry. Yeah, that's fine. So there we go. Let's jump in. Oh, there's the lights. That's great. And let's take it for a spin. Gauges are working. And... Uh, bit hard to steer around here but that's because of the long chassis right this is nice I can feel it straight away it is very nice very nice to drive indeed um, I'd have to say if you are a Peterbilt fan this is going to be a must for you to try when it comes out Now, um, I'm hoping that when um, it does come out, though, that a bit of a couple of these little things are fixed, and uh, that will make it even better. So, uh, here's hoping, guys. There we go. Look, it's so nice, so smooth. It picks up nicely changes beautifully it really is uh, really is good let's try the banana whoops didn't realize how close I was getting to the edge there and there's a whole heap of traffic coming awesome come on go van and we'll just go around here like this. Oh, up the up the gutter. Look at that. It just takes off so nicely. This is definitely a good mod. Definitely interesting. Um, I would definitely recommend this to have a look guys. Um, it is, I'm having a lot of fun with this right now, and, uh, it really is, when I'm having a lot of fun, that's, that means that it's a good drive. Generally, it's a good drive. Uh, whether it will pull a load, that's a different story. But, we won't find out until it gets to the weekly drive. So, is this worthy of the weekly drive? Well... 
that's not up to me that's up to you guys if you would like to see this in the weekly drive then you know what to do in the comments below say yes i would like to see this in the weekly drive if you would not like to see this in the weekly drive say no i would not like to see this in the weekly drive um and if uh it does win up against the other trucks that we will have this week then yes we'll take it for a drive but it's not up to me guys it's up to you we'll find some nice big load this week something something good but um yeah look my opinion i like this i think it's a very good mod uh very nicely done uh needs a couple of little minor things fixed up but nothing major that i can see so um uh hopefully upon release these little minor things will be fixed and uh it will look a lot better so guys look uh thank you very much for watching uh if you like this video then don't forget to share and um, if this is the first time that you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel and check out our other videos. We have over 1,200 videos to view. So heaps are there, um, mostly comprised of uh, American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, other trucking videos. Uh, we've also got this Grand Theft Auto there and um, we've got Farming Simulator. Heaps and heaps and heaps of games mainly the vehicle simulation is what i like to do uh but that is it for me today guys look thank you very much for watching don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and i'm 10 10 on the side and remember game on thanks for watching youtubers if you'd like to see more videos then click on the links beside just over here for American Truck Simulator, it's starting from scratch and we're driving the Peterbilt 389. Just down there, we're taking a look at the Mercedes-Benz Axor for Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching YouTubers and remember, game on!